Oh my goodness, he just slapped that seagull. G'day and welcome back to the Coco Couch. My name is Oscar and today we're going to be watching Luca. I don't know what this movie's about. I know it came out a little while ago. I know it's not like very old, but I didn't actually see it when it came out. I've seen most of the movies as they've been released. Uh, but I just, for some reason, I just didn't go and watch it. So also, I just want to thank everyone that's subscribed so far and has been watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Um, it really does. I'd, I've, I had no idea I would get such a, um, a subscriber base so quickly. It's been two weeks. So I really appreciate all the constructive feedback, the, the, uh, the comments and the um, the really nice um, things you guys have been saying about my videos. I really appreciate it, so thank you. Oh yeah, also, can you please, um, if you if you can, can, comment on these videos, uh, what movies you want me to watch. I will let you know whether I've seen them or not. I have seen quite a few movies. I've just started this channel, um, but I've already seen lots of movies. I'm, I'm a big movie watcher, so it's hard for me to find movies I haven't seen before. Uh, so if you guys can help me by just le like dropping some names of movies in the comments and I can go and see whether I've seen them before or not. It makes my job easier. I don't have to guess. Uh, so yeah, that'd be great. Um, let, let me know if there's anything I need to do that can help improve these videos. Uh, as I've said, I've just started and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so it'd be great if I can get some, um, some help with that. I'm probably going to start a Patreon uh, as soon as I reach a thousand subscribers. Uh, I thought that that was going to be in like a year, but it could be sooner based on how we've been going the last two weeks. So, and once again, I want to thank you guys again for that. It's crazy how quickly uh, the channel's grown. I just wanted to put out content that uh, I knew you guys would enjoy. That was, you know, quality. I want to spend as much time as possible making sure those videos are sharp and it's good quality. But yeah, there's always room for improvement and I'm going to try to get better as we go along. So I hope you guys enjoy the journey with me. So without further ado, let's jump into the movie. So many strange things have been seen in these waters. They're all just stories. Ah, that's more like it. I haven't seen many movies that have this animation style. <laughs> Oh, why did mate go straight into the net? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't exactly attacking you. What, a monster. Horrifying. what? You barely even saw it. You can't just be like, it's horrifying. <laughs> it's just a kid. Oh, this is cool. They're like their own little community. <laughs> There's not a thought behind those eyes. Okay, that's everyone. Mona Lisa. Okay, so he's an undersea shepherd. I'm loving the uh, how vibrant the colors are. I'm assuming he's quite dissatisfied with his life in the ocean, and he wants to make friends and experience life on the surface. Maybe he just can't because everyone sees him as a monster. Oh, so he actually does see humans as monsters. It's kind of like in his uh, in his dreams, he's trapped in the ocean, um, and he feels that in an emotional sort of level. It kind of represented itself physically by the water, trapping him underneath. Even a glimpse of you. You think they come around to meet new friends? Huh? No, make small talk. I mean, maybe some people would be open to talking with a sea monster. Dolphin impression, please. <laughs> Anyone can do that. Ah! Well, I mean, I can't. I've, I've attempted it, and it's very embarrassing. So, I was just curious. Yeah, well, the curious fish gets caught. We do not talk. Uh, it's funny because I just saw Tangled, and this kind of reminds me of it. But the difference is, she's not a uh, toxic, you know, possessive mother that's just wanting. Her, his hair, it's, she genuinely does it out of love and her own fear of humanity. We're a little worried about him, right? No thanks, I, I'm full. <laughs> wow. Oh no, you're kidding me. And he's got a spear. Oh, don't knock yourself out, bro. That's the worst thing. Who? Hmm? It's fine. 
Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> Oh, wow. This took a really unexpected turn. The pacing is really quick for this film. I didn't expect him to be out of water this quickly. No, it's bad. Good day. No, nope, he's going to come back for sure. He's seen outside and he knows that he can be a human outside. Yep, look at him. He's just thinking about it now. He's obsessed. Did you really go up to the Oh my goodness. Oh, that was terrifying. Come on, man, do it. Explore. But be careful, though, because if you get any water on you on the surface, then you'll look like a sea urchin. Oh, a sea monster. Just go. I mean, it seems easy, but imagine you've been on the surface your entire life, and then all of a sudden when you go underwater, you become a sea monster. That'd be a pretty big step to just be like, all right, let's just go around swimming underwater. Now... Walking is just like swimming, but without fins, or a tail, and also there's no water. Uh, no. <laughs> At least show him. Catch yourself before you fall. Is he gonna catch himself, or is he just gonna face plant? Hey, there we go. Good. Good. Yes. Wait, so what happens if you decide to get jacked? Like, if you put on all this muscle, if you go underwater and you come back, do you lose all the muscle? That's the magic singing lady machine. It's broken, unfortunately. I love how his persona is very like he doesn't care that much. He probably really wants a friend. The Vespa. <laughs> you just sit on it and it takes you anywhere you want to go. <laughs> you know they're going to ride one later. <laughs> I have to go like now, like right now. Okay. No, you're having too much fun. It's even better than the picture. Yeah, it is. That's incredible that they were able to make that. And they're not even real humans. Don't say surface, don't say surface. Surface. <gasps> oh, you're joking. Luca? <laughs> uh, I... Gonna tell us where you were? <laughs> I sent him to look for sea cucumbers. Right. Mm. Sorry. Thank you. She's the best. She knows for sure where she where he's been. You ready to ride it? Do it. Well... It's gonna break, but I just think maybe I would die. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's good instincts. This is normal. Stay focused. Oh. Hey, at least he's positive about it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, he just slapped that seagull. They just seem like two normal teenagers just messing around. That's kind of cool that they're establishing a really good friendship first before they explore more. I know your problem. You got a Bruno in your head. Don't listen to stupid Bruno. Shut him up. Say, Silencio Bruno. Silencio Bruno. <laughs> Can you still hear him? Nope. Just you. <laughs> just shut out the, uh, the noise in your head telling you something's not safe and just go for it. Uh -oh. oh, just don't land on a rock. Oh, no. Hey, that was awesome, mate. He saved them. You came up here. Thanks to you. Otherwise, I never would have seen any of this. It seems like what's more valuable than seeing the world at this point is just his friendship with this guy. Maybe it isn't the surface that's giving him joy or giving him some sort of satisfaction. It's actually his friendship with him. And I was like, yeah! And then you were like, no! <laughs> Yeah, see, they're having fun together. If they were underwater, they'd have just as much fun, I reckon. I love how both their dreams involve both of them. It's not just one of them. It's very, it's very cute. <laughs> oh no! I fell asleep. What? Oh no! No, they're gonna be, they're gonna be waiting up for him. We're always careful. We? Sure, there's no sunlight, but there's nothing to see anyway. Oh, don't tell me they're gonna try to ship him off with him. You're going to stay with Uncle Ugo for the rest of the season. Are you serious? Why are you doing this? I have to send you to the bottom of the ocean to keep you safe. So be it. You know I love you, right? Well, yeah, of, of course you do. But if you hold on too tightly... But will they come looking for you over there? Ah, uh, I see. All right. Makes sense, right? Yes, continue. And we say, Senor Vespa, 
Build us one of these. This guy's got so much charisma. They tell us what to do. Just you and me out there. Free. See, he's his new friend. All all he wants is a buddy. He doesn't actually I don't think he actually cares that much about exploring the world. He just wants to really just live, but with a friend. <laughs> if I was them, I'd definitely go out of the water, away from the city, and then walk in, instead of going so close as sea monsters. Get in. <laughs> Is that a Pirates of the Caribbean reference? What's wrong with you, stupido? Huh? Dude, you're gonna get everyone in the town hating on you. Hey, you do it now. Just say the thing. Don't, no, don't. What's wrong with you, stupido? <gasps> oh, boy. <laughs> I guess there are legends surrounding their existence. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't like this guy. The little guy can't even get a word out. Ooh, and it smells like behind the biscuit, yeah. <laughs> hey, my friend smells amazing. Sorry. Oh, yes, yeah, sticking up for him. I love how close they are. Cierto, your reign of terror is coming, coming to, to an, end. an end. You mean like a year ago, when you quit in the middle of the race? Because you couldn't stop throwing up? Uh, they're coming with me. Yes, let's increase the friendship circle. For losers! <laughs> uh, it always makes me cringe, uh, the, the characters in these shows that just follow the villain blindly. They're just yes-men. But then it's like, you're, it also makes sense. Like, in high school, you had lots of people like that who just didn't want to be bullied. That would just be yes-men to whoever was the bully. Kids who are different. Dressed weird. Or a little sweatier than average. Uh, <laughs> too much? Too much. Maybe, maybe a little. But it shows that you're earnest and you're you're very vulnerable with your friends, which is a good quality. We should ask her about this portal. <laughs> Bro just picked his nose. When you race in a cup, what do you get? Prize money. Oh. Yeah, but the prize money can get you a Vespa. Useless. Maybe that becomes a Vespa. How does that become? Just ask her. <laughs> They're figuring out money. <laughs> Their first taste of money. Epic, grueling, traditional Italian triathlon. Swimming. Cycling and eating pasta. Oh, hence the puking, I'm assuming. He could be under the dogs, too. Hey, it's okay, Luca. She'd rather do the whole race alone again. Eyes up, huh? Looking down is what's making you fall. Hey, that's a good lesson. Hey, he's got decent balance for going that slow. Oh, never mind. My family was going to send me somewhere horrible. Away from everything I love. But if we win this race, well, we can be free. It's a shame that their solution to not going away is to leave his family. Hey, Papa! I brought some friends for dinner. Is there enough for four? Hey! He looks like he's from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. That's a big dude. Oh, come on, mate. Oh, the cat knows. <laughs> oh no, maybe he has some sort of trauma, the, the father. Maybe he lost his arm from a sea monster, like an actual bad sea monster. I don't want you doing the race again. You get so upset. There's also the entry fee. Money's tight. I work double shifts at the pescaria. Whatever you need. What I need is more fish in my net. Help, yeah, help him catch more fish. I'll put you to work. Really? <laughs> That's how you get what you want from parents. You just like help them out a bit and they return the favor. I like the relationship that she has with her father. You guys need a place to stay? Cool. That's vibey. I love the festoon lights. Yeah, my hideout. Oh, and she can just climb onto it from her window? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our Vespa's gonna be even better than a bike though. Because the moment we get it, we're out of here. I can't wait. It's interesting that all the main characters in this show so far have all been pretty much alone. Like, they haven't had any friendships. Um, it's kind of cool to see all these characters coming together and having so much um, energy and joy. Just doing anything, working on something with other people. It doesn't really matter what the goal is or the dream. It's like, if you're doing it with people... Oh my goodness! Oh, 
Is <laughs> the cat's always watching? You're coming with me. Uh, oh. Which do I get? Huh? Huh? You don't. <laughs> you don't. They're all counting on you. Don't worry, Tomato. I've got my spills. I guess he does seem like the kind of character who wouldn't really care. He's so he's so attached to the idea of killing a sea monster. He doesn't care why anymore. Well, hello there, young man. You're not fooling anyone. Renzo, Renzo. You thought we wouldn't find you. You can't just see the first boy and assume. Go home. <laughs> yeah, good job. I'll know my son when I. I didn't even consider that. That it'd be harder to find them since they transform. I'm interested to see if Luca identifies his parents straight away when he sees them. I'm 16. You said that last year. But this year is true. Mercury is gonna break the record and make it six in a row. Actually, that's kind of sad. That's the reason why he's still in this town, despite the fact that he's older than all the other kids. He's probably so afraid of not having any sort of identity outside of this town. This is the only place where he has some sort of control. So someone needs to tell him that he's worth his worth and value outside of this race, <laughs> so that he so that he has some sort of sense of uh, value. <laughs> Because this is all coming from insecurity. Bravo, we did it. Oh no, he's going to feel like he's losing his best friend. That was very quick though, he got very jealous over nothing. And you have to use a porqueta. It's the rule. Ugh, rules are for Dang. Rule people. Can't you just pick up the ball and just... Oh no. I'm surprised these two are still alive, honestly. <laughs> Are you serious? He's just gonna ram them? That's horrible. You can kill someone doing that. Mate, they're horrible to each other. Oh. She's more of a monster on the surface than she is in the ocean. <laughs> All the kids are so sad. <laughs> Do not make her a teacher. Right? That's why we gotta win. The town will cheer our names. Hercules' life will be ruined. It's interesting because all these main characters, there's like a reoccurring theme where they're just constantly like, if I can only just get this, uh, things will be better. But it seems that after meeting each other, they already have everything that they want. They've got um, companionship. They've got a friend. They've got someone who is invested in them and is interested in them. They meet the people that actually make them happy along the way to reaching their goal. That actually is very superficial. <laughs> hey, Luca, I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, sorry. Shh, come on. Uh oh, he getting jealous. Maybe borrow this just for tonight. You can have it. Oh, that's nice. Just don't get it wet. Julia explained it to me. They're fires, but like one million times bigger. Uh, no, they're not. His, his buddy was the one who introduced him to the surface and showed him new things. Now he's the one that's actually very, he's not very open-minded and Luca's the one who wants to keep going and keep discovering things. Hey, look who it is. This guy wants them to die and it's freaking me out. Why did you make him mad? We should have left. No, 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 we're fine. I had it under control. Mm. Sounds like this guy's hiding some of his own securities underneath his bravado. Hey, now this guy's being nicer. How did no one teach him that until now? Oh, I think he's being a little bit dramatic, but at the same time, like I understand. That's the train to Genova. That goes to your school. Yeah. Is your school open to everyone? Great. Thank you, Julia. For oh boy. Now. Can we focus on what matters? If we lose this race, we're not going anywhere. The irony of that statement, let's focus on what matters, the race, instead of each other. Huh? Oh, what? That looked delicious. We just need to win that Vespa and get out of here. It's not going to be any different. I don't want to... Oh. I want to go to school. That again? We can't go to school. You're just afraid you can't do it. <laughs> I'm not afraid. No, uh, he's right though. Uh, Julia, your school. Does it take all kinds of people? Oh, if, if he throws him under the bus. I doubt your school would even accept sea monster. I, I know, it's kind of hard to imagine. So let me just show you. No. Oh, he's being honest? He's that desperate. 
Oh, don't try to scare her, though. See? I knew this would sea monster! Oh, no, mate. Are you serious? Dude, that was an opportunity for you to actually show her that you're not monsters. Ah, oh. Luca. Luca was totally in the right until that point, and now he's just pushed his friend away. That was horrible. That was a big betrayal. Dang it, Luca. Where's Alberto? Uh, he left, Senor Arcovaldo. It's sad, too, because I think he really liked him. Do you know where he went? Uh, no. Aw. See, he's just a big softie. He really cares about them. Okay. Luca! Yeah. I can explain. Of all the places for sea monsters to visit, Puerto Rosso? She's not even mad that he's a sea monster. Do you think I want you to leave? This is the happiest I've... Aw. Look, it's just not worth it. She knows what's up. I'm glad that she knew straight away what mattered, and that was their friendship. She didn't care anymore about the competition. She was just like, it's too dangerous. I'm not prepared to lose you over winning. Ah, oh, did he leave that there just for him to see? I never should have done that. I wish I could take it back. Yeah, whatever. I started when my dad left. Oh. You were living here alone for that many days? I just stopped counting after a while. He said I was old enough to be on my own. I just thought that maybe he'd change his mind. I'm not gonna tell you again. Don't go away, Luca. He's just he's just emotional. St stick with him. Be loyal. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm gonna fix this. Nah, he's got to show him that he doesn't need to get the Vesper to have everything they want. Forza Giulietta. Oh, he's so supportive. I'm more concerned about his survival at this point. All right, well, he made it back. I'm surprised it, it was that quick. Nice. Teaching him on the job. Oh, I can see why she threw up last time. She's got a great head start, though. Do you get disqualified if you puke? Because I feel like that would be very practical if you could just, like, make yourself throw up. Wow, he's fast. Yeah, be proud of him. Yes, Luca. I'm so close. Yes. I'm coming for you. You two don't belong here. Get out of my town. <laughs> Whoa. What the heck? Get off. My pool. Get out of here. Ah. Yes, come on, mate. Save your friends. Yeah, stuff this race. This guy could kill someone, like seriously. The long evil empire of injustice. <laughs> this got way more dramatic than I was expecting. Everyone is horrified and disgusted by you. Are you serious? But they're not hurting anyone. They are Luca and Alberto. And they are the winners. Yes. Yes, they won. You just got beat by sea monsters. <laughs> <sighs> they have so much respect for him that his word goes. Idiotic, be useful for once in your pathetic lives. Are you serious? He's the pathetic one. Heh <laughs> You had us worried half to death, and you must never do that again. I'm sorry. And you raced her little tail off and kicked so much your head. <laughs> She's so proud. <laughs> I love you, Mom. See, they're just normal. Oh, are you serious? There's people that are undercover? That's awesome. That would have been so cool if, like, half the town was sea monsters. <laughs> I love how they probably- yeah, they probably don't even care about it anymore. What he did today was amazing. Yeah, it was. He seems to know how to find the good ones. Exactly. You gotta just trust him to make his own choices. I can leave you some bucks. You can? <laughs> Come on, Alberto! Come on, mate. See, they, they invited you. Go with them. So what's he afraid of? Is he just afraid that people will reject him? Like his, I guess, father did? You promised. 
to write to us every single day and be as <laughs> safe as possible. And I mean safer than safe. You can go to school. Your friend talked them into it. It wasn't easy. See, what a, what a friend. Look me in the eye. You know I love you, right? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Alberto. The train's gonna leave. Massimo asked if I wanted to stick around. Move in, maybe? Oh, and he's got a father figure now. Oh, that's awesome. He's got a... He has, like, a son that he can teach how to do things and love on. Oh, that's great. How am I gonna know you're okay? Oh. You'll be okay. I love that. He got Luca out of the water, and Luca got him out of the island. I love how close they are. <laughs> what a testament to what having people that believe in you can do. What a beautiful way to end the movie. Alright, so that was Luca. Wow, that was surprisingly good. I hadn't seen it before and it came out a while ago and for some reason it just didn't really I wasn't very keen to to watch it for a really long time uh, and because of this new channel I created I thought well why not? I had such a heartwarming message behind it. I really loved how Luca and his mate I love how they had like this this dream this goal that they formed together and and it kind of gave their friendship some sort of like jet fuel to kind of take off. I love how he they discovered through the movie that it wasn't really any sort of dream or goal that they had that was what really mattered. It was really the, the people that they met along the way and the friendships that they formed. That's what truly matters is the connections you have with people. I think I said at the start, but I, and I still feel the same way, if they were still like, under the sea and all of them were friends with each other, I think they would have been happy as well, you know, as long as they had each other. And I think it was such a good sort of message to teach people that how to pick your friends too, people that will always champion your goals and your dreams and your interests, and they're always going to have your back. They're always going to support you. It was just such a such a beautiful way to end. Also with the parents, like dropping their prejudice and allowing their son to have that freedom to experience life for himself was such an imperative part of his journey and way of growing up when they allowed him to make that decision for himself you know it rewarded them with Luca being like you know I love you right <laughs> it was such a validating thing for them to hear I'm sure as parents but yeah thank you for watching all these videos I'm putting up I really appreciate the support so please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time